in order for me to grow and be better at what I do right now, I feel like I need some coffee. And there's a coffee shop right there that I've never tried yet. So let's do that. <laughs> So what happened to your mouth? Let's see, let's open that lip a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so what did you get? A $20 bill. $20? Yeah? From who? That tooth fairy. Yeah? And what are you gonna use what are you gonna do with that twenty dollars? I'm gonna buy a toy a twenty dollar a twenty toy. You gonna buy twenty dollars worth of toys? Yeah. <laughs> so you're happy? Now we just gotta get rid of that second one. Let's see it again. There we go. You got like the shark tooth thing going on in there. Here, high five. Nice job with the tooth. You deserve every penny. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, so the boy lost a tooth and I shared a picture of that on Instagram. And I got a lot of really interesting responses. So yeah, so there's the picture. That's what I shared on Instagram. And I said, making the exchange, the first tooth is something special worth a little extra scratch. My wife and I combined, we had $40 in our pocket. I had a 20, she had a 20. That was all the money, the cash we had on hand. We wanted to make it something special. I mean, truthfully, I didn't necessarily want to give my son $20 right out of the gate, but it was the only bill I had at 10 o'clock at night. So, we just gave him the $20. And a little more context, my son, although he appreciates money and understands the usage of money, but he doesn't understand monetary value. Like one, a $20 bill to him is almost the same as a $5 bill or a $1 bill. It's just a single unit of pay and it doesn't really, he doesn't really quite understand 100% how it's different. And that's fine. He's only six. I don't expect him to be an economist yet. But what bothered me were some of the responses that I got to that picture. Not the kind of responses I expected. Not Good job on losing your tooth, congratulations, great milestone. That's what I was hoping or kind of expecting to get from some of these people that I shared this picture with. Instead, what I got were comments about, I got a dollar. When I was a kid, it was only 50 cents. You're really raising the bar here, Dave, thanks a lot. This isn't about parenting. This is not about parenting because I will never claim to be the best parent. Yes, I'm good at some things, but I'm crap at other things. And so I would never try to tell anybody how to parent their kids. In fact, if I saw this picture from somebody else, I definitely wouldn't be shouting to them, way to raise the bar. And it's that phrase that I take the most issue with. At what point in our life did we decide that raising the bar was a bad thing. If you have an issue with my parenting skill and you decide to use raising the bar as some sort of derogatory phrase about my parenting, well, let me tell you something. You're not gonna get the proper response from me. I'm gonna raise the bar if I want, and it has absolutely nothing to do with you. Now, a lot of the people that made these comments, they weren't necessarily artists. There were a lot of artists that made comments, but not all of them were artists. And so I won't go as far to say that this is starving artist mindset, but this is definitely a scarcity mindset. This is people thinking that only a certain way is acceptable, that the way it was is the way it should be. And if it's not that way, it's different and strange and alien, and I don't 
dig it. Let's say there's this bar that we are trying to achieve, this goal that we are trying to achieve, and maybe we are hitting that bar, or maybe we are okay with just coming below that bar. Maybe it's perfectly okay to, I don't need to be here, I can be here and be per perfectly okay. That might be fine in most circumstances, but if we continue to act our lives out as if this bar is as high as we can ever get and we should never try to achieve anything higher, we should never shoot for anything greater than this, then we are never going to get anywhere further. We are going to either continue to hit our head against that bar or undershoot because we get tired of hitting our head on it. Instead of trying to bust through, instead of trying to reach for something greater. When we start hitting our head on that ceiling, why aren't we aiming higher? Why aren't we trying to find the hole in the roof so that we can shoot higher up into the stars? Why does everything have to be, that's the goal, let's go here, and that's all we need? If that's how you live your life, if that's how you build your career, if that's how you spend your time only achieving what you know is achievable and not shooting for something greater or pushing for something more, you are not going to have a satisfactory life because you are not challenging yourself for something more and bigger and greater. I'm going to acknowledge right now that this is a bit tangential and relating our effort of hitting these goals is a little bit different than how I pay my son for losing a tooth. But there's definitely a mindset there that if this thing is only worth achieving here, then yeah, I can only assume that you probably have the same mindset about other aspects in your life. If somebody comes to me with their negativity and tries to use a term like, you're raising the bar, Dave, as a derogatory phrase, well, let me tell you what, you're goddamn right I am. All day long, and I will never, ever stop trying to reach for something higher. That is why I am going to win. And here's an interesting byproduct that you probably haven't considered. That if you are hanging out with me, watching me, listening to me, and I am constantly raising the bar, then you are constantly wanting to need to achieve that. And so you have may have been here before, hitting your head against the ceiling, and then here I come to raise that bar. Well, guess what? Your ceiling just got bigger. I don't care if you follow or not, not everybody's born to be a leader, but if you are following somebody who is constantly pushing the envelope, trying to raise the bar, trying to do something more than they did before, then you are going to win too. And if you're not willing to do that, well then, I got nothing for you. And here's another interesting point. I don't want to win alone. I don't want to get to this certain level or achieve this high greatness. Not that I'm necessarily going to get this high greatness. I'm not going to try and get to this high greatness and hope to be there by myself. I'm not going to stand on the mountaintop and look down at everybody else thinking I'm great and awesome. I want friends. I want people to hang out with. I want a community to join me on that mountaintop and we can build this awesome thing together. If you are willing, to come with me and push through with me, then it's gonna be so much cooler together. So let's stop looking at this as hitting bars or lowering the bar or only achieving a certain level of success and let's start looking at how we can constantly raise the bar for ourselves so that we can do great things together and have a good time on the mountain. I'm not sure where that whole mountain metaphor came from, but go with it. All right. Randy McRanderson is done again. This is one of those videos where it was kind of off the cuff. I had something entirely different planned today. Obviously events changed my point of view today and I wanted to share it with you. So yeah, that's why we're here. And I appreciate you hanging out. In fact, I love you guys very much for being here and I hope that uh, this hits you in the right spot, right about there. Now I've gotta go and try and get that other tooth out of my son's face and figure out where I'm gonna get some more money. folks. I love you guys very much, as I said. Please do me a favor, if you like this video, show me that love by giving me the heart or the thumbs up. And if you are liking all my videos and you want to see them more often, please subscribe to this channel because that's the way I get to be in your face on a regular basis. And finally, if you could, you think somebody needs to hear this one or some of the other conversations we've had, please do me a favor and share it with your homies. Thanks again for your time and attention, folks. I really do appreciate you. Remember, be good today, be better tomorrow. See ya.